Are you hearing these explosions? Wah! At first I thought it was someone calling me on Skype and blowing into the microphone or something like that. That's all right, keep moving. Whoa! Whoa, okay. Um, what happened? I did, I quick saved. That will be you soon. What if we took a stealth boy? Might this be a decent opportunity for us to use a stealth boy? Run, run. You don't have to live like a refugee. Don't have to live like a refugee. Oh my god. Um, okay, stealth boy does nothing. Stealth boy don't work. If you have some turbo, use it. Let's cool it for a minute here. All right. Drink some purified water. Drink some Nuka Cola. Eat some uh, Sunset Sarsaparilla. Save the game. Take some Turbo, which is in aid, I assume, so we don't have any. Um, hmm. Hmm. Jet does not allow me to fly, unfortunately. La Fantoma? I don't have any Battle Brew, unfortunately. Alright. People are saying stick to the very far left. S stick to the left and follow the rocks. The rocks have betrayed me! Oh my god! Help! Oh my lord! Okay, okay, okay. No, it's the far right? <laughs> okay. Um, hmm. What if we come at it from the top over here instead? What we, yeah, we'll come over that side of the wall. My friend. Whoa there, pal. You better slow down. How is he talking and smoking at the same like time? The rest of the idiots who thought they'd scavenge in Muma territory. What is okay? Now that I've got your This guy's be hat in has like the narrowest It'll brim I've ever seen. It's majestic. Investment. You can tell me, or you can tell the underside of my boot. Whoa, simmer down. <laughs> oh, hey! I'm a gambler and a scavenger. I've made some cash from gambling and some cash from reclaiming goods that are no longer being used. Now, do you want my help or not? Uh, is there a way to get past? There is a way, and I'll tell you. For a little wager. Okay. Well, I know the secret to get past. If you give me the caps, I'll tell you. If you make it back alive, I'll double your money. Hmm. How about, you know, we might as well barter. It gives us experience, right? I'm a bit short right now. How about 200? <laughs> Joke's oh, on him. I actually have like thousands. I can cut you a deal, but not a cap lower. I gotta make a living here. Okay, here you go. That page has the details, but it's all in the timing as you move from building to building. I'll be here watching, so I'll know if you've made it to the gate or not. Remember, I'll pay double your wager if you make it back. Remember, I'll play double your wager if you make it back. I told you what you need to know. Now get moving. How about you get moving? Um. Oh, that's Rex. Oh, hey. I hear reports of Legion raiding parties all over the place. They can't all be rumors. Rex seems to have a problem with you. So, all right. Data. Misc. Key to avoiding the artillery is moving from building to building up the northwest side of town toward the front gate. Stick to the high cover in the northeast corner of the two buildings, then make a beeline for the gate. The boomers won't shoot at their own people, so stick to the fence until you make it to the gate. Also, I know there's an old train tunnel that enters the area from the south, but no one has ever come back out of there to say it is safe. All right. All oh, right, Rex doesn't like hats, I forgot. The key to avoiding the artillery is to move from building to building... 
up the northwest side of town toward the front gate. Building the building up the northwest side of town, which is where we are, toward the front gate. Okay. So we're, we're on the right level there, I think. We're going to find out pretty soon. Um, stick to the high cover in the northeast corner of the two buildings. Then make a beeline for the gate. Here we go. We are doing this. I don't know if we can climb this. We cannot climb this. Surely we're not supposed to go through that way. Let's try it. <laughs> Here's our quick save. Northeast corner of the buildings. He's lying. Mercy kill him. I don't buy it. This is not going well so far. Where are the buildings? Oh, Jesus. They got Raul! They've almost made it to the exit! Oh, Jesus Christ. Put your gun away, it runs faster. You have to hide behind the wall at the first house. I don't know if I would claim that the things that we're walking past here are houses. Like, is that the first house? Hmm. Keep healing while you run. Bunny hop. Keep that up. You'll end up getting blown to the gate by the artillery. That was my hope. I vote tunnel. It's a tunnel to the south. Which would be like probably around here. Um... They say those robots on the strip are running around with dis I had to. He has my caps. Dirty pre-war relaxed wear. Obviously we're taking this. Alright. Hmm. Use the smoke of deceit. And now laughing at the serious advice and accepting the poor advice. I don't know what the actual advice is. I don't get it, man. Should've let him run into the boomers? Yeah, well, Raul killed him. That's the problem. Raul's like a... He's a... He's a loose cannon. You have discovered Field Shack. It's pretty nice. Sleep in the bunk bed. Open the toy box. That guy was so dad squad. Actually, now that I think about it, you're not wrong. But you can't make me feel bad about it. Cool. Three weightless missiles. That's exciting. There is a great BB gun there. We already have a, a BB gun. What, am I going to repair my other one? I'm hearing some strange noises here. This is not going to take us to the south. We have to go back around like this way. <sighs> How the heck are we going to do this? I'm assuming we can't shoot the missiles out of the sky. Might be mistaken. Boomers. Alright. Well, we knew we were going to have to talk to these guys eventually. It's a weapons grade BB gun. <laughs> hmm. Alright, we'll keep out. It's the boomers. Just stay closer to the wall? I was so close to the wall, man! There's some turbo in Nipton. Just fucking cheese it. You could follow the advice, you scum lord. Okay, well, I thought I was following the advice. This is not gonna go well. Just jump. As the rockets land. I'm done. <laughs> oh, Jesus. They blew off my arm but kept my hand attached. Put gun away. Hide inside the ruined buildings. Okay, we'll give that a try. I haven't spent so much time oh, in the ruined buildings because they're ruined. So I didn't think they provide much cover. But 
Yo, even with my gun away, I'm still getting blown up. Classy Cluster, thank you very much for the subscription. Much appreciated. Here we go! Put on lighter armor? Does it even get lighter than the spacesuit? What about in here? Are we safe in this, like, crater? I feel like I'm not safe in here! Apparently we're safe in here. Pretty sweet I keep getting to watch my dog friend get, you know, destroyed here. These buildings are not helping here! You need better armor? I thought I needed lighter armor. Heal your limbs. Are we safe in this crater made by a rocket? Yo, those houses are not 100% safe. You are lying to me. There's some walls facing the guns. Hide. Wait for a shot. Run. The two near the road, please, NL. Put your gun away. Bolt up the left side. It's the most reliable way to get there. Find an intact wall. Push yourself up against it. Wait for them to stop firing. Aren't you glad you didn't get agility now? Scold the rockets and send them back to their room. I, I just need to be able to speak to the rockets and I should be fine. Okay. What if I try to vats the rockets out of the sky? Put the gun away. You stick to the left wall until the fence. Staying tight and bright here. Is this the fence? This does not feel like any fence I've ever heard of. Oh, good lord. Okay, okay. We, oh, we made it. Subscriber. Sort of. Lunar Deviant. Thank you very much for the subscription. Um... I give up. I've lost faith he will ever make it. GG, guys. Yo, ye of little faith, man. I've seen you in chat saying you don't want to be mean, but this is sad. The easiest way to not be mean is to don't say mean things. And I will do my best here. It's not like I'm trying to fail. Use Raul as bait. You made it back to the dad squad dad squad guy entrance. Yes, I'm I'm aware of this. My arms are crippled here. Hmm. Follow the instruction from here. I'm ready. And Al, I love you. That's that's too far, but I'm a fan of you as well. What is the advice from this point onwards? If, like, I could read the thing again. Move building to building up the northwest side of town toward the front gate. Stick to the high cover in the northeast corner of the two oh, buildings. Oh, baby, a subscriber! Sergeant Boblet, thank you very much for the subscription. You know that ghoul who worked with that doctor that fixed Rex? She sells 70 stim packs. That's actually amazing. Get to that fence, and then you'll be okay. What fence are we speaking of? Is there a fence that I can see on my, uh, on my world map? What about on my local map? What is the fence indicator? The chain link. I don't see any chain link. I believe that it's there. I don't know, though. Just go left, left, left. To the left of the houses, there is a fence. Here we go! <laughs> Every fence. Made it. There's a, there's a building with a roof. That is not a roof. But it does have some steel beams. Oh! Oh, 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 oh! No! Get in! Get in! What? Oh! I thought we made it! I thought we made it! Okay, okay. We might be making some progress here. Stay close to the houses. I will do... Okay, we should heal before we go in there. If we had healed before we went in, we might have been able to make it work. So let's take Sunset Sarsaparilla. Purified water. Quick Nuka-Cola. Okay. 
Okay. I'll quick save after this. The first building has a wall too. All right. Here we go. Stay left. This wall? This doesn't seem helpful. Raul, no! Okay. I keep jumping as they land. My limbs are fucked. My limbs are fucked. Oh, it's good! He's in the hidey hole! Okay, it's the perfect place to stand. Also, I... Okay, okay, we're good, we're good! Oh, okay, okay. Sunset Sarsaparilla? <laughs> Nuka-Cola? Oh, I'm out of real Nuka-Cola. Alright, well, this will have Nuka-Cola victory and probably should take some rat away at the same time or um oh, I'm out of rat X. All right, we'll take rat away soon. Guess not. Quick save. Exactly as planned. All right. Uh rat away. Delicious. You all right, Rex? How's it going, buddy? Um Rex Maybe you could fuck off for a minute? I don't think they're ever gonna get me. I mean, famous last words, yes, but... Sunset Sarsaparilla. They ever... they ever stop? Okay, uh, it's time to go. Well, I'm sorry. It's the furthest we've ever gotten. It's the fence! We're safe at the fence, right? Oh, baby! We made it. I know my, my limbs are crippled right now. Unfortunately, I'm not sure... Fortunately, I'm not sure what I can really do about it. Because I only have a super stim pack and a stim pack, so I, I have to choose like my favorite limbs. Hold it right there. Don't you move. How the hell did you survive that bombardment? Uh huh. Simple enough. Run, hide, run. It's all in the timing. But I had you zeroed in the whole time. Nobody's that fast. Move a muscle now, and I'll blow you to pieces. Okay. I didn't come here to attack you. Then just, just stay where you are. Raquel will be here any second. Raquel. I'll take this from here. I'm Raquel, Master at Arms for the Nellis Homeland. Mother Pearl, our eldest, wishes to speak to you. Fantastic. Uh, all right, lead the way. Follow close and mind your behavior. Another faction! We made it! Welcome, child. Took your sweet time getting here, didn't you? I've been waiting a good five years for an outsider to come along and visit. Okay. You didn't exactly roll out a red carpet. Those howitzers of ours aren't just for entertainment, child. Explosive ordnance is what keeps the savages at a distance. Except you. There's something special about you, child. And it was the howitzers that gave you a chance to show it. I'm very grateful for the opportunity that you gave me there. It only took me like six tries. That's not that bad. Oh, I wonder so how many scientists they blew so up who were trying to help them out here. So we can get used to what it's like to have a sev uh, outsider around and about. Should that go well, it may be you can help in big ways, too. We'll have to see. Um, how can we trust each other if you're going to be keeping secrets? I only need 20 speech? What, were you supposed to come here as, like, your first quest of the game? You have to keep in mind that you're our first contact with the outside world since I was barely a woman. Oh, is that like 400 years ago? Seclusion has kept us safe, but the world around us is changing. Neon lights in the distance, patrolling robots, soldiers. My youngers think our guns can keep out the world, but I think we need to let it in just a little or become its victim. You're that little bit of the world, child. Welcome to Nellis. Hey, uh, we've been waiting for you forever. That's why we shot you with, like, mortars as you came in. We really need to learn to be a little bit less, uh, isolationist. 
Okay, how about where do I start? Can you show me where the mortars are so that I can disable them because I hate you and then I'm gonna mercy kill everyone in this goddamn Air Force Base and then I'm gonna pick up a vertical takeoff and landing Harrier jet and I'm gonna fly to a part of the country where this shit doesn't happen because this is insane. You picked a good time to stop by for we're swimming in problems. My for one, we're almost out of mortars! Raquel could use help with the bug problem. Doc Argyle has wounded he's tending to. And Loyal and Jack might be looking for help with some repairs. Or you could just go see Pete at the museum and hear the story of our people. All you have to do there is listen. Come and go I like, kind of doubt Pete's storytelling technique if they haven't seen anyone from outside of this camp in like youngers, 40 years. Not every outsider needs to be blown up. Hello. <laughs> yes, hi. You should get out of my face before you get yourself hurt. I've never seen a ghoul up close. Oh, wow. Raul, are you going to take that? Well, this is kind of like a nice place. Nice to just rest my uh, broken legs a little bit here. All right, let's get up. How is your visit with us going, stranger? I'd really like you to move away from the <laughs> doctor's uh, first aid kit there. They are too rare and valuable to simply give away. Nor have you proven yourself a friend. Okay. I haven't heard anything. Let's let's do some quests in here. I need to heal up anyway, so like not having to dodge rocket fire is probably pretty good. Uh, I would like to find a bed, and we have found a. You can't. You, they won't let me sleep in the bed. Yo, like my limbs are completely destroyed because of you fuckers, and you won't even let me sleep in your bed. This girl, she must have some medical problems because she is just loving those first aid kits. All right, um, quests. Still in the dark. Fine. No, okay, we're, we're looking at something different now. Volaire, help the boomers around Nellis. Boomer number one is outside, apparently. There's a doctor in Nellis. Okay. Drink from their toilets close. and then kill their people. Sure I wanted to. Oh my god, it's going to be so slow for me to move here. Ah, uh, maybe it's not, actually. Kill them, don't help them. Give them the old Caesar treatment. Ah, oh, Danella's medical station. Heck yeah. Okay. I know Mother Pearl is letting you wander Nellis as you please, outsider. But I have patients to tend to. You think I'm not a freaking patient? I'm afraid medications are in short supply. Maybe you should seek medical treatment away from Nellis. This guy is an asshole. Sorry, friend. Oh my god. I have three patients here who were gravely injured fighting those giant ants in the generator building a few days ago. I've stabilized their wounds, but they're in bad shape. Do you have medical training? Um... <laughs> I kind of like the idea of going for the lie here to see how it works out. I, I assume the ants' tibular nasties pierce the patient's anterior traxis? Well, I don't know, actually. I suppose it's possible. You should take a look. Beautiful. We probably would have gotten more experience the other way. Oh, at least we can sleep now. All right. Let's sleep for like 14 hours or something like that. Take us to 8 in the morning. Gravely injured. Yeah, I'm missing an arm and both legs, I think. Or maybe both arms and one leg. Okay. Are our limbs better now that we've had a good night's sleep? Yeah, we're fine. All right. Where, where were the patients here? Oh, wait. Chemistry set. Let me just stand on your table and make good use of this. Where do I have to go to... Talk to this man? Pardon me? Yes, outsider. There's still patients in need... Well, where... The patients are not in... Oh, no. They are here. Okay. This man appears to be severely injured. Swelling around his face and neck is interfering with his breathing. Improper treatment will kill him. Are you sure you want to treat him medicine 60 or higher required? We're gonna leave him alone for now, because I think we have, uh... 40. So we'll treat this guy's infection. Oh, baby, a with a subscriber. Oh, Homeless Santa 1, thank you very much for the subscription. Uh, with a combination of natural herbs, bandages, and some disinfectant, you're able to clean the wounds and help boost the patient's immune system enough that he'll survive. Excellent treatment. I hadn't thought of that. I thought Raul just crouched and was about to shoot him in the head. Alright, so we need medicine over 60. Let me check my stats here. Um, skills, sorry. Medicine's at 41. Aid. 
I want to look at special to see if there's what what changes medicine. It's not intelligence, maybe. Intelligence affects the science repair and medicine skills. Okay, so if we can take like mentats. Programmer's Digest is science. Okay. If we take Mentats, it gives us intelligence plus two, which takes our medicine stat to 45. This is nothing. This guy will die. You have just enough skill to recognize you're about to do more harm than good. You stop before causing any serious complications. All right. It does not work like that. Take 10 Mentats. One attribute is two skill points. Well, that's not nearly enough, is it? Uh, Med X. Well, that's not going to help me. What if I just give him some healing powder? Well, they won't let me... Uh, they won't let me kill him, so... W what's up, Doctor? Can I speak with you? Yes, Outsider. Um... I, I can't I can't heal this man. I mean I don't really want to do this. You should have some medicine skill magazines. 